think about your you know your start tonight and how nice was it to to get through that seventh inning yeah it was really nice i haven't done that all year uh i thought threw the ball pretty well uh there's that last thing that kind of started off a little weird kind of walked the shelton kid i think and then i kind of settled back in but i mean the defense behind me played great I think your first three pitches were all triple digits on the radar gun. A little amped up, a little pumped up for tonight, more so than usual. I just feel good today. I mean, sometimes it gets that high, sometimes it doesn't. Uh, Gackle, you were faced with that uh, bases load jam in the, in the top of the eighth, uh, and you also faced Cal Calglione. Uh, how were you feeling uh, throughout that inning? Uh, I felt good. I was just missing uh, some spots and uh, walked a guy and then – Caglion got that hit, which it was a decent pitch, but he put a good swing on it. And uh, so you kind of just go, got to go after the next hitter and just keep uh, filling up the zone. It's very lucky. Made that play uh, in the top of the seventh that got the – you threw the runner out at home. Uh, what, what was the what was your state of mind going on at, when that play was developing? Yeah, um, I knew they had to tie and run on third. Um, knew he was going on contact. And as soon as the ball hit the dirt, I just – uh, wanted to make a play on it, and that was kind of the only play I had. Um, I wanted to help Hagen out, so yeah. Jared, I guess you were up with you know runner on third, less than two outs. Just kind of what was your approach there when you got the the sack fly to to drive in the run? Yeah, Payton and Ty Williams Meyer did a great job um, of getting in the scoring position, and I just wanted to put a ball in the air um, to the outfield and get my pitch, and it worked out. And Hagen, the two of the first three guys you faced reached, and I think. Ty made the dive and catch on the other one, uh, but then you're tired 17 straight. Just what was, did you, did you find a groove there? Kind of what was working for you during that stretch? Yeah, I just kind of feel a little off rhythm wise, the first few hitters. Uh, I mean, I made good pitches. They just made good swings on it. I kind of, me and Huddy kind of talked about what they're doing, their approach to the plate, and we kind of made some adjustments at the end of the game. Hey, I guess what's it like going up against a guy like Caglione? You know, I, I know you've faced some other really good hitters this year. Just what was that like? Yeah, I mean, he's probably one of the best hitters in the country, if not the best. So it's always fun facing those guys like that. Just try to throw your best stuff against him. Jared, well, uh, that ground ball that Caglione hit to you was 115, I think. Did it? Did you like? Did you recognize in the moment just how how hard that was? Uh, yeah, it kind of it kind of found me. I didn't really go to it. It kind of just popped in my glove. It was smoked for sure. Hardest is that one of the hardest yeah. ground balls? No, for sure. Yeah. For sure. <laughs> and Gabe, you've had – I feel like we talk to you about this every time you come in here, these high leverage situations and everything, but how much of the early season, you know, going through that has helped now? Do you feel any more calm now, or is it just kind of the same as it was early in the season when you're going through that? Yeah, uh, you know, each time you do it, you get a little more confident. And so uh, just the more experience, the better. And now when I go out there, I've got a lot of confidence in myself and my stuff, and as well as the defense behind me. They've uh, been great all season, so – yeah, each game you just get more confident and you just keep building them up. And Hagen, real quick, just you're now second all time strikeouts list chasing Nick Schmidt. I mean, have you had any conversations with Nick about, you know, catching him or anything? No, I haven't talked to him about that, but I did talk to him earlier this year before the season a little bit. Kind of get to know him. I met him. Uh, I forgot where I was, but yeah, he's a good dude. All right, guys. Thank you. Thanks, y'all. Thank you.